Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be doing a quick review and giving you a few readings from Reality Sandwiches by Allen Ginsberg. This is the Pocket Poets edition from City Lights Press. There's a little mini blurb which is written in Ginsberg's typical inimitable style. Uh, with poetry, I generally find the best thing to do is just to read a few of the poems out, which is good because that's basically my review process. <laughs> so. Uh, oh, it's dedicated to the pure imaginary poet Gregory Corso as well. Uh, I need to read more Corso. I've only read like a few pieces in anthologies and stuff. Never read any of his like full works. But yes, so blurby blurb. Dane reads. Wake up nightmares in Lower East Side, musings in public library, across the US in Dream Auto, drunk in Old Havana, brooding in Mayan ruins, sex daydreams on the West Coast, airplane vision of Kansas, lonely in a leafy cottage, lunch hour in Berkeley, beery notations on Skid Row, slinking to Mexico, wrote this last night in Paris, back on Times Square dreaming of Times Square, bombed in New York again, Looney Tunes in the dentist chair, screaming at old poets in South America, ethereal zigzag posy in Blue Hotel hotel rooms in Peru, a wind-up book of dream notes, psalms, journal enigmas and nude minutes from 1953 to 1960 poems scattered in fugitive magazines, here collected now book. There we go. So, the poems that I wanted to read to you, there are only three. On Burroughs' work, obviously about William Burroughs, written in San Jose 1954, these are all kind of written in that uh, late 50s, mid to late 50s, early 60s period. Uh, so uh, yeah, the method must be pure as meat and no symbolic dressing, actual visions and actual prisons as seen then and now. Prisons and visions presented with rare descriptions corresponding exactly to those of Alcatraz and Rose. A naked lunch is natural to us, we eat reality sandwiches, but allegories are so much lettuce, don't hide the madness. So that, obviously this is called reality sandwiches, I think allegories are so much lettuce would have been a better title. All right, dream record, June the 8th, 1955. A drunken night in my house with a boy, San Francisco. I lay asleep, darkness. I went back to Mexico City and saw Joan Burroughs leaning forward in a garden chair, arms on her knees. She studied me with clear eyes and downcast smile, her face restored to a fine beauty, tequila and salt had made strange before the bullet in her brow. We talked of the life since then. Well, what's Burroughs doing now? Bill on Earth, he's in North Africa. Oh, and Kerouac? Jack still jumps with the same beat genius as before, notebooks filled with butter. I hope he makes it, she laughed. Is Hunk still in the can? No, last time I saw him on Times Square. And how is Kenny? Married, drunk and golden in the East. You? New loves in the West. Then I knew she was a dream and questioned her. Joan, what kind of knowledge have the dead? Can you still love your mortal acquaintances? What do you remember of us? She faded in front of me. The next instant, I saw her rain-stained tombstone near an illegible epitaph under the gnarled branch of a small tree in the wild grass of an unvisited garden in Mexico. And yeah, Burroughs shot her. That's how she died. This is a very long poem. But hey-ho, let's get, let's get all beaty with it. Bloody Nora, this is, this is really long. It's basically the rest of the book. I'm not gonna read you all of this because this is 15 pages long. I'll read you I don't know, I'll read you till I, I feel like not reading anymore. All right, Ether, 11.15 p.m. May 27th. Four sniffs and I'm high, underwear in bed, white cotton in left hand, archetype degenerate, bloody taste in my mouth of dentist chair, music, loud farts of eternity, an owl with eyeglasses scribbling in the cold darkness, all the time the sound in my eardrums of trolley cars below, taxi fender cough, Creak of streets, laughter and pistol shots echoing at all walls. Tick leaks of neon, the voice of myriad rushes of the brain pan. All the chirps the crickets have created ringing against my ears in the instant before unconsciousness. Before the teardrop in the eye to come, the fear of the unknown. One does not yet know whether Christ was God or the devil. Buddha is more reassuring. Yet the experiments must continue. Yeah, that was the first of 15 pages. Uh, all in all, Reality Sandwiches, Alan Ginsberg, I mean it's an interesting enough look at his work. You're going to want to read like Howl and other poems before you get to this. And at this point I've read most of Ginsberg's work, so I'm kind of ticking the boxes. Um, and one of the books I haven't read yet are his collected poems. So I feel as though I might as well have just read his collected poems. I mean this is a pretty good little indication of what Ginsberg's all about. So I mean if you see it, grab it. If you're buying it for like £10, like I did, Prob probably don't, like just get the collected poems I guess. Um, it's not that it's bad, it's just that it's, you know, very typical of his work. Let's read another one here, we've got Scribble. 
Rex Roth's face reflecting human tired bliss. White haired, wing browed gas moustache. Flowers jet out of his sad head. Listening to Edith Piaf's street song as she walks the universe with all life gone. And cities disappeared, only the god of love left smiling. Berkeley, March 1956. So yeah, Reality Sandwiches by Allen Ginsberg. Pretty strong, 3.5 out of 5. As I say, it's very typical Ginsberg. If you want like the typical collection of Ginsberg's poetry, you know, this. Because Howell was really like his, his astounding work, his masterpiece, I guess, you know. Not necessarily for Howell though, for America. America, I've given you all and now and nothing. $2.27, January 17th, 1956. I can't stand my own mind. America, when will you end the human war? Go fuck yourself with your atom bomb. I don't feel good, don't bother me. I won't write my poems till I'm in my right mind. America, when will you go to war? When will you look at yourself beyond the grave? I've lost it. Why are your libraries full of tears? <laughs> I used to know the whole thing. It's, it's a long old poem. Anyway, so yeah, that's what I made of Reality Sandwiches by Alan Ginsberg. As always, don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read this book and if so, what you thought of it. Hit that subscribe button for more and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.